Also, Mario Kart, pretty much almost as popular as the main Mario franchise, and it's been along for 30 years now. Oh my god, I'm old. Not really much to explain, just Mario. Those carts, hijinks ensues. What do you expect? <laughs> the franchise is so popular, in fact, that I got into the recent Mario movie. But of course, that was filled with references, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm here to talk about soundtracks. You know, the thing that's in every single video game. My personal favorite soundtrack being LGN's video art. Sounds really good. Throughout the series, from Super Mario Kart to Mario Kart 8, the soundtrack has been very different and diverse. Here's an example. Congratulations, you just saw the soundtracks between a twin year gap! There are plenty of motifs in the series as well, the most popular one being the Super Mario Kart main theme, which appears all over the series. Here's the motif. Not a motif, but I'd like to add that the Mario movie used the Mario Kart 8 menu theme. Just take a listen. The last motifs we should really talk about are the SNES Rainbow Road and the N64 Rainbow Road motifs. SNES is a little funky tune in it that appears over the series. It's the intro in uh, GBA Mario Circuit for some reason, which is surprisingly the only Mario Kart song I think to have an intro just by itself. Anyways, here's the motif. Lastly, I'm going to talk about the N64 and Bird motif. Only having a couple handful of appearances, it mainly only appears in Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart Double Dash. Here it is. So I need to do something besides just talk about the soundtrack of the series. So I made album covers for pretty much most of the songs in this series. Uh, but first we need to talk about what are the purpose of album covers. There's a couple of reasons for album covers. For one, it's to just advertise and catch the eyes of people. Uh, two, it's just a way to represent the music. Or three, just because it looks nice. Okay, so this is the layout I'm going to be rocking with. The music will be at the bottom left. The album cover will be in the left, just in the left in general, and inspiration slash gameplay will be at the top right. I don't have much else to say, so here we go. <laughs>
and that's all the ones I did. The Mario Kart series has over a hundred tracks, so obviously I didn't do all of them. Those are the ones I did so far, and there's definitely ones I wish I could have done, but I just didn't really feel a way to portray the music in some ways. The last thing I'm going to say is that this was heavily inspired by a Sonic remix, who compiled every single Mario Kart song in the series at that point, and just remixed them all. And the music layout is basically the just pretty much the entire layout of the the video. So yeah, um, heavy shout out to that for the layout. I don't have much else to say, so yeah, that's it. See you guys.